not list all our key indicators, even if they show, really show, that the uh, event is of 2018 was a real success for our university and our region. So I prefer to underline what ESOF has changed for us. ESOF was uh, our first experience in the frame of the Federal University of Toulouse with a young institution for organizing such a worldwide congress. So it was a fruitful experience because we were able to mobilize all partners of our environment, local authorities, as uh, will uh, tell you Bertrand, uh, universities, industry, uh, industrial partners, economic partners, higher education and research organizations. The network has really uh, well worked and uh, is now really stronger. It's the first point. And uh, we were also able to develop in our teams some new skills to manage such a project. We know now how to do, and we are currently uh, applicant to host one, uh, one another uh, really important congress with the European Association for International Education Congress. We, are, uh, we have a, an application to host this congress in 2024. Um, secondly, ESOF was a real opportunity to test new kind of collaborations. For example, the Science in the City program has permitted to set up on the main square of Toulouse, in front of the City Hall, an exhibition for our labs and for science. This place was uh, well, uh, as welcomed more than uh, 25,000 people during the week for a great opportunity to discover science to show how science works every day. Now, we hope to be able to start again such an activity useful for opening science to society. Obviously, great opportunities to, uh, it was a, a great opportunity to mobilize our 145 labs and to create new links, new collaborations, but also an opportunity to show what is done every day uh, in our labs through a program for, of visits for industrial partners or journalists. So the role of Catalyzer uh, of networking uh, has been uh, fully played by ESOF 2018. That's why we consider uh, ESOF was a great experience that helped us to build our policy for scientific outreach. University of Toulouse is really proud of the success and hopes that some of our innovation will constitute a real legacy for ESOF and we support the success of Trieste and other ESOF in the future. Thank you. Okay. Shall we try the video? Okay, can I share now? Yes. Okay. I hope it works with the sound also. Okay. <laughs> It's not longer important to make discoveries. It's important to make discoveries that are true and that also matter. And that is a real challenge. That many species are more sensitive. A social contract where citizens and sciences is at the heart of public policies. Valuable, but what? It is a, a place, it is a we.
cities have infrastructures. is finished. I'm online, yes, okay. So you have uh, seen uh, what was an ease of before uh, COVID-19 and the last one. And what we didn't know, we are talking about legacy and experience. That was that it was probably the last ease off to be on this kind of format because Trieste and ease of 2020 uh, is inaugurating a new way of um, conceiving ESOF with also using online tools, what we are doing now. Uh, and uh, uh, after this uh, uh, video, uh, I think that I will pass the word to um, uh, Bertrand Montubert, who is uh, representing uh, the president of our region, Occitanie, and is a professor at the University Paul Sabatier in Toulouse. Bertrand. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. And uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here in this uh, quite extraordinary session in many ways, actually. Um, and, and, and first of all, uh, on, on behalf of uh, President of Region, Carole Delga, uh, I want to, to, to send uh, all our greetings of success to uh, ESOF 2020, which is uh, a new kind of ESOF, obviously, uh, because of uh, the certain sanitary crisis. Uh, but uh, let's hope that it is uh, the opportunity to invent uh, new uh, ways uh, of uh, bringing together uh, scientists, citizens uh, around Europe, as uh, it is the, the goal of, uh, of ESOF. Um, so since the, the theme of this session is uh, about legacy and uh, um, what, are the, what was the impact of, of ESOF, uh, uh, first of all, uh, let, let me say uh, 
how intense it was uh, to be part of uh, the uh, organization of uh, of ESOF uh, and uh, making it a success. And I think it was a success. And I want to, to thank, uh, of course, uh, our champion and Conrad Thompson, and also all the teams of uh, Euroscience uh, and uh, all the local organizers who were gathered uh, so, so that it could work. Um, I would say that the motto of ESOF in 2018, uh, sharing science towards new horizons, maybe we didn't know what would be the horizons two years later, but at least I think that sharing science um, uh, was really, uh, really, really important. We, we have seen with the sanitary crisis, with uh, the way uh, in which uh, so many people are really lost um, about what science is, what science can tell or cannot tell when there is such a crisis. But it is extremely important to gather uh, these, uh, uh, these people, uh, once again, scientists and citizens, so that uh, everyone understand from, from the other one how science really works, um, what is the work of a researcher, what is a scientific publication, how science makes advances, what is truth, what is uh, an hypothesis, etc. And um, we see how much we are still lacking of this knowledge of uh, scientific culture in the, in the society. I think we are, uh, this is improving. And I think that uh, at least for our region and for the participants in 2018, um, ESOF has helped to improve it. And that's extremely fundamental. Just to insist on that, um, I would really remember a few aspects of, of 2018. Uh, first of all, obviously, this uh, science in the city uh, part, uh, where you had so many people in the street going to see some uh, exhibitions and, and, and speak with researchers and all that. And really, you, you, you could see really any kind of people. That, that's very important. It was not only, uh, I would say, well-educated people or whatever, or people with a scientific background or whatever. It was only just, you know, people going through the Place du Capitole, which is a main, um, uh, uh, which is a city hall uh, place, um, and uh, and just stopping by and looking uh, as they would do that in over period of a year. Uh, if there was a fair or whatever, you know, and, and, and that was really uh, extremely important and comforting. Maybe another thing I'm remembering that was, uh, and when, when I thought it was really uh, uh, quite a unique moment is, and there was a, a picture very short in the video, which is by the way, very, very nice video. Thank you. Um, you had this session with uh, Jean Jouzel, uh, this uh, climate science researcher, uh, who was awarded the um, Vettelsen Prize, which is the most important prize for uh, climate science, uh, who was part of the GIEC. Uh, oh, sorry, GIEC is, is uh, the French acronym. Um, uh, IPCC. I, sorry? IPCC, I think. IPCC, thank you. Thank you, Anne. IPCC, exactly. I, who was part of the IPCC. Uh, so there was Jean Jouzel, there was uh, Laurent Fabius, uh, who is a former prime minister, who is a former uh, ministry of uh, foreign affairs when uh, there was uh, the signature of the uh, Paris um, uh, agreement about climate in 2015 um, and uh, another, uh, another people. And they were really speaking quite casually about how they would feel about uh, what was this uh, Paris Agreement, how the countries would react about this very important responsibility they have uh, against the future of our societies and uh, about, you know, uh, well, what's behind the stage. And I've been thinking at that moment, well, probably there is no other place than ESOF to see that, to see this kind of conversation. So, ESOF is really something uh, quite, uh, quite unique. Uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, ESOF 2020 will be even more unique <laughs> than it has uh, ever been. Uh, I would have loved to be in Trieste. Unfortunately, it was not possible. Uh, I hope you will have a, a lot of success. And I hope 
that uh, for the Trieste organizers, uh, you will learn a lot also, and you will have a great impact of this session. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Bertrand. So now I think that we are going to uh, hear Martin Andler, uh, who is in a way representing all these uh, committees that are so essential for preparing an ESOF. And he was the vice chair of our program committee in 2018. And he is again uh, in the program committee, playing a big role there for ESOF 2020. So please, Martin. Thank you, thank you, Anne. <clears throat> so I was uh, the chair of the program committee was Andres Metzpalu, a distinguished biologist from Estonia, and this shows a bit how European uh, ESOP is. So I will say a few words about, about the program. It's, so you talked about it, you, Anne, and uh, Bertrand talked about it a bit. Um, the program committee is in charge of two things. First, of uh, establishing what the big issues will be discussed, the, the themes, the, spe the specific themes, and then also choosing the sessions and the speakers. So science policy is always a very important theme uh, at ESOF, uh, but we had a, a, team, a theme which was uh, phrased in this rather different way this year, that year, which it was called use and misuse of, of research and scientific advice. And I think that we see very much, we have seen, we already knew, but we have seen very much in the last two years, how important this issue is, especially in the last few months with the COVID crisis. Another theme which was important and is now more important two years later is health. Health was a major theme of our of the sessions. Uh, another theme was understanding divided societies. And indeed, we know, and we know even more with the COVID crisis that uh, our societies are divided and this division has had a huge impact on the way COVID has hurt different people in different ways. <clears throat> and of course, we had a theme which was very connected to Toulouse, transport, new technologies. I mean, Toulouse is the cap capital of, uh, well, maybe the European capital of air, of, of air, air industry. Uh, so this was very much in line with um, we, so we had sessions about policy, but and of course, there were several uh, important officials of the European Commission who came and spoke, but we didn't want just them to be able to speak like politicians, explaining how everything is good. And for instance, Commissaire Moedas was in a debate with Maria Leptin, the director of European My uh, Molecular Biology Organization, and Angela Belia, who's a, a geneticist from Estonia, so, so that he could not just, you know, make the kind of speeches that politicians make, but that scientists would be able to have a real dialogue with him. Uh, we had a, a session on inequalities in European science with uh, Jean-Pierre Bourguignon and the biologist, Elim Og. Of course, we addressed uh, gender issues, uh, because this was a very important transversal theme and we know that there are gender issues in science and we know actually it has become even worse in the last few months with the COVID crisis because obviously it has impacted in, in science careers, women and men very, very differently as we now know. A few specific sessions that would organize, there was one session with a, a biologist from uh, Thomas Hartung, who's a professor in the US, which was the theme was how to kill the spy, about how to poison people. And as you can see, this is also an issue which is uh, very much in the news today, not a spy, but the, the techniques are, are the same. We had a session, I mean, Toulouse is one of the rugby capitals of France, certainly, and probably of the world. And we had a very interesting sessions on concussions in rugby, which is 
Okay. So this shows how diverse the, the sessions in, in the given ease of uh, are. We had a session on the effect of global warming on biodiversity with a, an American biologist, Camille Parmesan, who had uh, just arrived to take a job in France, sort of fleeing the situation for environmental studies in the US. So this shows the kind of diversity that again, that we had. There was a, a satellite event on uh, young African scientists in Europe, because we certainly, we, the, it was very interesting for Toulouse just not to think entirely European, but also to look to the, to the, to the South. There was a session on vaccine. Unfortunately, so as you can see, a number of sessions which were organized were important then and seem to be more important today. Unfortunately, there was one session that we did not have is the perspective of the new pandemic. We did not have a session on the risk of a new pandemic. This is maybe a regret we should have, but so we'll try to do better in the next ease of. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Martin, for this uh, um, look at uh, back at the program we had and I think that you underline so well the continuity uh, between um, even in the themes between different ESOFs with some specificities of each uh, town and that's the case this year too and at the same time uh, the important themes some are recurrent like science policy science diplomacy women in science uh, that you mentioned uh, and uh, well, the future of the planet with climate change, and this is so important in this uh, present uh, ESOF. So I think this chain of ESOF going from one to another one with at the same time specificities and links are very important, very unique. And uh, I think that now I will pass the word to the president of uh, Euroscience, Michael Madros, who became the president of Euroscience uh, in Toulouse at the closing ceremony. There was a little uh, image on that in the, in the video. Uh, so please, Mike. Thank you, Anne. Uh, I'm very happy to be here for this legacy session because it's, uh, it's so important. As all of you mentioned, uh, no two ease-offs are alike. Uh, the current ease-off here in Trieste in 2020 is a, is a very different event from the ease-off in 2018 in terms of uh, organization, in terms of topical areas, but at the same time, there is real continuity from the very first ease off in 2004 in Stockholm up to today, through Toulouse in 2018 and here in Trieste in 2020, there is an ease off spirit. And that spirit is to organize an event which is open, which is open to all, which is dedicated to discussion, debate, exchange, dialogue, at the interface of science and society and how uh, each of the uh, topics that we're looking at has to be looked at from several perspectives. And I think in that sense, the uh, Toulouse event was completely faithful to the spirit and uh, the role of Ezoff. And the event here in Trieste is as well, although in a completely different format. So uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to see again, although uh, here remotely, uh, uh, Philippe, uh, uh, Bertrand and uh, Martin, and uh, remember, a little bit uh, what it was like to set up the uh, event in Toulouse. It was not an easy job. And uh, now that we're living through the event here in uh, Trieste, we remember also that it is never a, uh, a simple, uh, easy path to set up an ease off. And at the same time, it's an extremely rewarding experience for all involved, including the participants, to be able to exchange. And uh, in this particular time, now with the uh, pandemic and the uh, global crisis, to have that opportunity to exchange with each other. Uh, we would like to create uh, through these links and the legacy as Anne is setting up today, uh, an ease-off family, a family of those who have been involved in ease-offs, who have shared our vision and our spirit and uh, who want to continue working together. And, you know, Martin and, and Anne uh, are participating uh, also in ease-off here in Trieste. And I think that's important that we keep that thread of continuity between the, uh, the different ease-offs. So uh, I would like to congratulate again uh, uh, Philippe, uh, Bertrand, uh, Martin, Anne, and all those who worked so hard to make Ease of 2018 a success. 
And I hope that we will be able to continue into the future up to 2022 and beyond, always associating Toulouse as a member of the family uh, of, of Isov. So uh, thank you once again, and thanks to Anne for organizing a legacy uh, event of this nature that we would like to continue in future Isovs uh, to man man maintain our family together uh, as a family gathering as well. Uh, thanks to all, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you, Mike, uh, for these kind and meaningful uh, words. And uh, I think that all people who have been involved in Azov and know, uh, even with the diversity of those uh, events, uh, what it means. And uh, the aim, and the aim is con continu continuing, uh, whatever is the format, uh, are motivated for this science in society uh, relation with all the stakeholders and uh, putting the dialogue at the center. Uh, in my concluding uh, words for this, uh, uh, this session, I would like to replay now the, uh, the video without the sound, without the music, um, and uh, just make some uh, final words while you are uh, looking again at the, uh, at the video. So I will need to share my screen, but not my sound. <laughs> and I'll try to succeed with that, if the technicians can help me with that. Uh, so I would like to share uh, this, but not the sound. Okay, so now uh, I, I'm going to uh, um, make these final words on the image, an image of Toulouse here, and then recalling all the uh, list of different ESOFs and all ESOF had sessions, that's true this year too, with panel. And uh, this is uh, Camilla Parmesan and young people. Uh, and of course, you cannot through um, a short video uh, make justice to all the speakers that we had. Uh, these are just examples of uh, the problem uh, we have uh, tackled uh, in the ESOF. Of course, Horizon Europe was in preparation at that time, and that was important, and the European Commission was really uh, using ESOF to pass messages. There were workshops, very lively ones, with uh, young people and people of all age. And of course, the four components, science, science policy, science and business and career, uh, but all was centered around the dialogue with a small things like uh, uh, small uh, B2B meetings, Patisserie with the prof, which was uh, um, experienced people sharing with young people, and for the first time in Azov, posters, and a specific session of prickly questions, like this one, for example. It's very sad that we cannot uh, have real um, conviviality with a glass uh, like we are uh, looking at at the moment. And I just want to underline that the Azov party at the City of Space uh, was a great event, uh, uh, appreciated by all those who were there. The exhibition was, uh, of course, important for meetings and dialogue. And there were pictures, uh, which you see now, and booths, um, some very lively. Uh, we had important people like our Ministry of Research, and uh, all the media and press were very important. We tried to make justice to Trieste in these uh, uh, images. And the science in the city that was uh, underlined by Bertrand Montubert was extremely successful and uh, uh, lively uh, with a full program. This is Place du Capitole. And we had some specificities uh, in uh, Toulouse, uh, which were two years of preparation with many events 
related to science and a lot of uh, art and science links. Uh, this is um, some images uh, from sessions uh, from science in the city and from the uh, opening ceremony. Of course, we had uh, the, the event around poetry like uh, previous Azov's and uh, music. And for the first time we had um, a specific jingle that was played for each um, uh, session when uh, speakers were coming. Uh, at the same time, we had a lot of uh, intergenerational and young people involvement with the Yezov, Yezov for the youth, uh, where the patron was uh, uh, one of our uh, astronauts from France. Uh, diversity was very well represented. Um, Martin showed um, or mentioned Africa and all European Union countries were there. Uh, and uh, uh, this is also some uh, elements that uh, show you the European dimension uh, and the involvement of so many people to make it a success. And I could never uh, thank enough the whole team, the funders, uh, all the institutions and people who were involved with the real dynamics around ESOF. And I wish that for the ESOFs to come, uh, the dynamics remain the same. That was when we had the closing ceremony and we are back to Trieste. So these were the, our sponsors. And this video has been made thanks to a partnership between Altran and the Université Fédérale. So that's uh, uh, the first time I comment online. Um, I think we can stop now sharing the screen. Uh, the first time I comment online a video and uh, I think that uh, uh, now um, I can ask uh, the people who are around, uh, well, around the screen here, if they want to say something uh, uh, in addition. And uh, before I do that, I would like to really wish our colleagues in Trieste a wonderful is off. Uh, Following it um, from the, remotely from the distance, I can tell you that uh, the sessions, all the sessions I have been uh, uh, watching and posing questions and uh, listening are extremely interesting. Uh, there, there is a real uh, European and even because maybe of the pandemic, uh, worldwide uh, spirit. Uh, discussions are happening. And I think it's uh, wonderful that even this year, with the problem that we have uh, already uh, all, all over the world encountered, uh, you succeeded in uh, uh, having this uh, program. And uh, I hope the memories from Toulouse were nice moments for you. So I will uh, stop there. Um, anything that Philippe Rimbaud wants to add? Or Michael? I'm sorry. It yes. Philippe had to run because of oh, okay. sanitary problems. <laughs> so, you want to add to... something? We still have some minutes. Thank you. So, okay. Maybe Michael. Okay. Uh, Martin, do you want to add something <laughs> from this legacy event in the distance? <laughs> well, I think, I think, I mean, all these arts. Um, represent a step in the direction of having a possibility for the European science community to feel like a European science community and not sort of separate communities in every country and to be able to uh, express a voice of the scientific community in the political and societal debates and this is what ISOF is all about. This is also what your science is about and other organizations which are trying to build this spirit of a European scientific community. And in the situation that we are in, where the USA is what it is, and certainly even if uh, the present uh, US president is not reelected, the US is not going to act as a big protector of Europe in the future. And the other superpower is China. It is, and we know what China 
China is a great country, but not maybe a great democracy. And we know how important it is for the great democracies that are in Europe to sort of be able to stand alone in the new uh, world situation. And this is what also what ESOF is about. I don't know if Michael wants to add something to this uh, legacy uh, moment, if he, he is around. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so I think that uh, we are going to uh, um, to finish uh, this uh, uh, this event. I would have liked, uh, and that was what was planned in the beginning, to be there to invite a number of people to have a glass in the hand uh, and uh, all together to commemorate in a way uh, uh, all the efforts uh, that were there for organizing ESOF um, in Toulouse, sharing uh, how important for the city, for the region, for the scientific community and for the science and society dialogue locally it has been and it is still uh, and uh, um, to celebrate the present is off. So we do that all virtually but the feelings are the same. So I will, uh, I think I will close this uh, legacy event. Uh, of course, uh, this um, video will be made available. Uh, and I know that Euroscience will uh, put it as a legacy from as of 2018 on the uh, YouTube channel of uh, Euroscience. Uh, so you can and uh, be able to see it again. Um, and uh, I, just say can say that uh, this work to make the video uh, was a great collaboration with the people, the professionals. I have absolutely no competence for making a video, uh, but I had to dive again in all the existing video, the photos, the memories, uh, the figures uh, of what was um, as of 2018 in Toulouse. And uh, it made me realizing how uh, important such an event can be. And so the legacy uh, that gives just some glimpse of uh, what it was uh, is maybe important for conveying the spirit of sharing science and sharing the experience that uh, is of 2018 was for those who were preparing it, for those who participated in it, and uh, for those who will probably look at it uh, from the distance in the future through this uh, video. So thank you very much for participating, uh, for the speakers to this um, event. Uh, we hope uh, Trieste will uh, get some um, energy to uh, continue with this of 20, 2020 with this uh, legacy event. Uh, and we certainly uh, will would like to be part of the chain of these uh, um, ESOF experienced uh, people who contributed to uh, one or the other edition of ESOF uh, that uh, Michael Matlos was um, evoking. And uh, the sharing of uh, this is probably also important for building the future and the future of science in society. Thank you very much to all. And thank you for the, to the audience uh, who probably saw that it was not so easy to um, project a video when you have never done that before by sharing your screen. Uh, but in the end it works and uh, very often it's uh, like that. You have to try things uh, and, and in the end it brings something new. And so all the luck to as of 2020, 2020 and to the as of to come. Bye-bye.